Ever since I remember, I have always wanted to dance. Padma Bhushan, Dr. Kanak Rale, scholar, educationist, and an exemplary exponent of Indian classical dance style, Mohini Atam, was born on 11th June 1937 to a educated Gujarati parents, Shri Shivdas Divecha and Shrimati Madhuri Divecha. She loved to dance right from her childhood days. She spent her formative days in the beautiful ambience of Shanti Niketan. She learned Kathakali from the great maestro, Guru Shri Panchali Karunakar Panikar. I was like, Namaskar, I was like, 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 कि क्या करो बोलते हो आप तो क्या करूं मैं तो बोले देखो फिर उन्होंने ना ये करके बताया मुझे बताया एक सेक, एक पांच सेकंड के लिए मैं देखते रही फिर मैंने भी ये करके बताया उन्होंने दूसरा बताया वो मैंने पकड़ा तो उसके बाद एकदम एक यहाँ से यहाँ हंसे और मेरे सिर पे जोर से हाथ रखा और फिर उनके दामाद राघवन जी के पास से मैं थोड़ा सा सीखती थी उनको कहा कि ये बच्ची आज से तुम्हारी शिष्या नहीं मेरी शिष्या है बट हर इनिशिएशन इन टू मोहिनी आटम के मच लेटर अंडर कलामंडलम राजलक्ष्मी शी एस्टैब्लिश्ड नलंदा नृत्य कला महाविद्यालय इन 1973 शी वाज ऑनर्ड विद सेवरल अवार्ड्स एंड प्राइजेस इंक्लूडिंग पद्मश्री पद्मभूषण Sangeet Natak Academy Award, Kalidas Samman, M.S. Subalakshmi Award. Om. Padma Bhushan, Dr. Kanak Rile passed away. Kanak Ben has been associated with J.G. College of Performing Arts right from its initiation. Dr. Oman Nantani, who was going to be the principal of the college, and who is the senior disciple of Dr. Kanakrele, at that time took the initiative to put together everything that was required to begin the college. And Kanakben was very much involved in putting together the syllabus for the JG College of Performing Arts and to begin the college. The first time, us almost seven decades have experienced the distance become obstacles. I couldn't make it to see Kanakbin. Her last year. What a day today, Kanabe. It is a world thinking day today. Thinking. It is she who has taught us to think about dance. Gurus that teach us how to dance. At times, even what to dance. At Nalanda. Under we have learned along with how and what, the why, the where, when, who, or with whom. It is she, the one. Who is a Jnana Yogi? Who is Karma Yogi? And one with her ardent faith in Almighty Bhakti Yogi. Only she can be at this level. I always call myself 
perpetual student. Because if at all I have to do a PhD again in this part, it should be connected. And even in the next encounter, any part, it should be connected. It is a, today is a world thinking day, as I said, international. She chose this day to tell us, whenever you dance, think of dance. Whenever you dance, when you put your feet forward, breathe, dance. Kanabe, you are going to be with us all through, helping us understand through dance, the world around us, our culture, our heritage, our richness, our spiritual background. for being with us all, guide us all through our life. This is our treasure. You are going to be with us forever. A senior member of the advisory board of JG College of Performing Arts, she was always interested in knowing what was happening at the college and often I have been communicating with her and informing her about the various developments. During the many years since 2004, we also had the opportunity to have a performance by the Nalanda Center here in Ahmedabad in our Abhivedot Sala. She was very excited about it and came down to be part of that event. We also had the opportunity to felicitate her as part of the Vividotsav festival. During the pandemic, when I was approaching many artists, Kanak Ben was the first to send me a message talking about how one should face this situation and asking for peace and harmony. Today the world is facing a terrible challenge in the form of this COVID. Each one of us wishes well of the others. When we see the newspapers and when we listen to the news, we come to know how many people have lost their lives, how many people have lost their livelihood in the world, not only in India, but elsewhere. Is it not necessary for all of us human beings to wish together because we are one, a Sudaiva Kutumbakam, and I wish best Best wishes to all the dancers of the world. Why the dancers? All the human beings of the world. Let them come out of this terrible occasion and let them and their families and especially the children prosper and once again go back to the normalcy that we used to enjoy some time ago. Please join me and pray for peace and joy and happiness in this world. Kanak Ben also used to be watching the Guru Dakshina series that we had initiated through JG College of Performing Arts. And I remember once, sometime late in the night, suddenly I got a call from Kanak Ben. And I was worried uh, why she was calling at this time of the night. I geared up all the strength and called her up and asked her, Kanak Ben, was there something that uh, you wanted to ask? She said, oh, I'm sorry, Bijoy. Actually, actually, I was trying to uh, start the video and by mistake, your phone rang. I have been watching the Guru Dakshina series and I'm so happy that so many artists are part of that. Namaskar. 
I cannot believe that our dear Kanak Ben is no more. I had a very long and close association since 1958 when Kanak Ben and we four sisters danced together in Yogendra Desai's production of Geet Govind at Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan in Mumbai. Before that also, when I was in New Era school, her mother Madhur Ben was a teacher there. I was very close to her and Kanak Ben would always joke that this made her very jealous. However, we as dancers had many occasions to come on the stage together. She was a very talented Bharatanatyam and Kathakali dancer when she started dancing and later she was the person who after years of research work in Mohiniyattam brought it in par with other dance styles. Her contribution as a dancer, scholar, teacher, choreographer, educationist was unparalleled. Her passing away will be a great loss to the dance world. Namaskar. Dr. Kanak Rele's contribution to making Mohini Atam not only popular but of bringing an academic zeal to it, of expanding its vocabulary, of categorizing and explaining scholastically its worth is unparalleled. I am grateful that I was on the jury when the Guru Gopinath Prize went to her a few years ago. And I think for the first prize, which it was, there couldn't have been a better recipient than her. She has left her legacy in Nalanda and I'm sure that hundreds of students will continue the work that she started and she encouraged. We will miss her. One's first teacher is one's DNA, an artistic code imprinted in oneself forever. One's first teacher is mother's milk, building muscle, bone, blood, sinew, to lay the foundation of a strong artistic future. One's first teacher is the first taste of love, love for the art and artistic expression. Thank you, Kanapen, for being that first love affair, intense and full of wonderment for the art. I offer my pranam and Bhava Purna Shraddhanjali with deep gratitude for all your teachings. Sri Gurave Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna. Janani ni jod saki nahi jade re do. What do I address her? She was my mother. And I feel physically I have lost her. But in spirit, she will live till I live in my heart. I didn't know what when I was introduced to her. But today, she was everything to me. She taught me how to dance, how to live, how to analyze. I think it is na bhuto na bhavishyate. I have no words today to express my gratitude. And I think if I have another birth, I will ask Almighty to give me she Kanakji, Kanak Ben, who we used to address as my guru, as my guardian, as my mother. On behalf of the entire family of Nalanda, Uma, Rao, and Vaidehi, I acknowledge all the love and the grace that you as Rasika has showered. Thank you so much.
Namaste, this is Dr. Sunanda Nair, one of the senior most disciple in Mohiniyattam of Padma Bhushan, of late Padma Bhushan Dr. Kanak Rele. Since the devastating news, it really shook me up because I thought she was recovering and uh, I would be seeing her soon. But this is completely unfortunate. Uh, she is she has moved on and uh, she has left behind so many of her disciples who just want to see one more glimpse of her. My journey in Mohini Atom started about 37 years ago. As a, teen as a teenager, I went to Nananda Nritya Kala Mahavidyale. Uh, that was a, actually a fangirl moment when I saw her and I couldn't believe that I would be working with her and learning from her. I was so happy when she said that she would take me in as a student and uh, from there started this journey and even today, even today when I go it used to be like even our messages that we send to each other is like Sunanda, I have this new thing that I would like to work on. Um, when you come next time, we'll do it. There is so much of enthusiasm and uh, that she had to share with me her love for Mohini Atom that never ended. I remember her telling me, Mohini Atom is the best. So I always remember that. She is <laughs> just Mohini Atom for me. I remember that. And there are so many things that I could share, that I could keep talking. Really miss her. But she has left behind a volume of work and also has shown me the path which I should tread and what I should be doing for my own students in the field of Mohini Atom is what I would like to continue her parampara and pass it on to my students and they to theirs. And this lineage continues. Kanak, we will always miss you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Always your eternal student, your eternal shishya. Shri Guru Bhionamaha Pranamam to Amma Padma Bhushan Srimadhi Dr. Khanakarele. I like to dedicate her very favorite Ashtapadi. She told me to compose this Ashtapadi and she choreographed in both dance forms Mohiniyatam and Bharatanatyam. She was so happy after the music composition and she choreographed I dedicate this small piece for her. Mm -hmm. Hari Riga Mukta Vatu Nikare Vila Sini Vila Sati Keli Pari Hari Riga Mukta Vatu Nikare Vila Sini Vila Sati Keli Pari Chandan Charchit Nila Kali Baram Pita Vasan Van Mali Chandan Charchit Nila Kali Baram Pita Vasan Van Mali 
sometimes centuries one such work that she created 3 decades back for me was a piece called anjali raghur amruta she just called me one day and said uh, i want to look at this piece for you specially it was i think 1991 1992 uh, i was just fresh out of college masters and she started training me when she was creating this piece one thing that she made me realize about my, about my own dance was she made these sweeping movements in bharatanatyam for me they were quite new you know i was used to a very traditional format of adhus that we had learned but she said i think you are tall you have long limbs i want to explore this and even today i use these ideas in my dance you, know. you start realizing and you look at how these mentors gurus find things within you and i think this is what performance arts are about especially dance which just lives in the present how do they make you how do they sculpt you how do they paint you how do they create you how do they make you is like this this is just one example many such examples of abhinaya many many examples over 20 years that she has trained me but anjali raguna mari recently performed and it still lives fresh people are completely blown by the choreography and i think there's a choreography the way she looked at what she wants to give me more than my artistry gurukhyo namaha This is this 
was one of the most favorite padam of Kanak Ben whenever she used to teach us in our master classes. I have been associated with Kanak Ben for more than 40 years as a student and as a faculty in Nalanda Nuttekala Mahavidyalaya. She saw in me what I did not see in myself. She groomed my talent as a singer and Natuvanna in all the Bharatanatyam performances in the college for the past 38 years. I was so fortunate to receive the Kanaka Nartana Puraskar in 2018 from her hands. If I have completed a PhD in dance on the concept of Tala in relation to Indian classical dance, it was only due to Kanak Ben's confidence and faith in me throughout this journey. She has given me a lot more than what I could return back to her. Whatever I am today is only because of Kanak Ben and I am always indebted to her. I seek her blessings for all my ventures. Namaste, Pranamam to the departed soul. May her soul always rest in peace. Shanti, Om Shanti, Shanti. But I'm very happy and proud to say that eventually I made Mohini Attam my own. We at JG College of Performing Arts, the management, staff, and students pay our respects to Kanak Ben and we hope that God gives strength to the family to go through these trying times. May her soul rest in peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.
Krishna.